I'll never forget when she came home and the boys and I had wrapped her presents under there expecting her to show up and when we came home from dinner, everything was gone. It's difficult not having a mom around, you know? How I didn't have any feelings for my family, how I would just leave my children with my mom and just go into my addiction. My cousin was, at the time, was the sheriff and he worried that we'd find her in a dumpster. We were all worried. It's scary, if I probably did not go to prison or be in recovery, I'd probably be dead by now with my addiction. It's just probably the worst thing you'll ever face in your life is losing your child either by death or by you know them going off and using substances because there's nothing you can do to control it. Addiction is a disease, it's a brain disorder, and that what happens is drugs and alcohol hijack the way you think. And so it's very difficult once you've started using to sort of draw yourself back and get yourself out of that um, rut that you've dug yourself into because your brain is creating new neural pathways and you actually have to stop and have an extended period of time where you're not using the drug and alcohol and learn new coping skills and techniques and skills in order to be able to stay um, away from using the drugs that make you feel better or make you feel good about yourself. But one of the, the mottos that we have here is we love them until they learn to love themselves and that's really what we do. We just teach them that they're worth it and that they have purpose and meaning in this life and so when they come to understand that, that's when you really see a big change. Being able to, you know, care about myself, love myself, which was a really big thing, you know, just made me look at life a lot differently. Maybe look at life instead of, oh man, it's just so sad and just live one day at a time. Now I like I live one day at a time because I become a better person one day at a time. At the end of the day, I can honestly say the Ridge House helped me change my life. I have literally done more in six months, in the past six months of my life, than I did in the last eight years. A lot more outgoing, uh, a lot more optimistic about my future. Coming here and continuing my program has really opened my eyes to um, things that are accomplishable. The most important thing that we do at Ridge House is we instill hope. That as long as there's breath, there's hope. There's also hope for their children, there's hope for their families. I think it's just keeping up hope. You, you've gotta never give, give up, you know what I mean? You always gotta get, keep thinking you can, it's one step forward and here you go. The relationship that we have now is I couldn't ask for a better one with my boys and my mom. So, it's amazing. There is hope. It's possible. I'm living proof of it. Um, 11 years in meth addiction to being clean and sober. Today, giving back. Um, you need to find support. You need to reach out and ask for help. There's a million and one resources available to anybody that is willing and wanting to. I think the first major thing in recovery is admitting that you're an addict. Um, it took me probably going to prison before I said I was an addict. Um, admitting it and wanting and accepting and knowing and asking for help is the key. Proud of where she ended up, you know, it was the best for her, um, best for all of us actually. I'm proud of the son that he is right now, but I wish I could have been more a part of the growing up and the person that he is. But I gotta give a lot of that to my mom, because she was there for him more than I was. She has her daughter back then. Well, it's a mutual feeling between the two of us. I'm very, very proud of her. Thank you for never giving up. <laughs>